I'm a lifestyle blogger and I also make lifestyle videos so guys if that's the content that you're interested in please do subscribe on my channel and also click that bell button beside it just so you can get notified whenever I upload videos like this this video is something new I want to share with you a mini update on my room and also a bit of DIYs that I want to share with you guys as well and I hope that you will learn from it. In this vlog, I'm going to be sharing with you this area of my room, the bed area, the headboard, the side tables. So I'm going to share with you guys what we can do here so we can make it more creative and more unique. So guys, if you want to see how I'm going to transform this room to this one, just keep on watching. So first guys, I want to fix this scratch map I have here. This scratch map, I had this for the longest time already since I was in my old room. But I don't want to change it anymore. But I want to make it more different or yeah, I want to make do of what I have. I put fairy lights around the scratch map. I'm not sure if I had the fairy lights during my first room tour but that fairy lights broke so i had to take it off for the longest time this one didn't have a fairy light anymore and i want to put it back i'm gonna put a card up here so you can watch it after this vlog <laughs> so part one of this video guys i'm gonna be sharing with you how we can make this scratch map more um meaningful and <laughs> more artistic or more artsy so first things first of course you need Number one, the fairy lights. I got this in Lazada. I'm going to put all the links on the description box and you can buy it through those links. I got three fairy lights. Para lang sure. <laughs> I have my Instax Share SP3 to print out more Polaroids because I recently traveled to Europe and I want to print out more travel photos of mine and stick it on that white wall. So, let's get started. First, the places that I went to na hindi ko pa na sa scratch on my map. And I recently went to Paris, so I want to scratch some areas on this map. And then, let's start. So, done scratching the places that I've been to recently. So, it's time to put this on. Actually, I'm just gonna follow the ends of the map going this way, all the way there. So, good luck. I'm not sure if this is two meters, but yeah, I think it's short for the map. I think if you're gonna do this, get a longer fairy lights para hindi mabitin. It's done. I used two two meters fairy lights and hindi siya masyado kita kasi may ilaw, but I'm gonna show you the lights without the main lights. I'm gonna show you the fairy lights without the lights. So there, this is the fairy lights. I super love this. I don't really have the fairy lights, but nasira, and then I didn't have time to fix it. But here it is now. Super ganda. I super love it. So guys, on ko lang ilaw wait. After the fairy lights, I wanna add more 
Polaroid photos around this wall because I visited new places and I want this wall to really be, be like my travel memory walls. Praise God that He blessed me to be able to visit new countries this year. So I'm gonna add new photos here. So let's go! Guys, for this part of the vlog, I'm gonna be printing out new travel photos of mine using my Instax. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna print out new photos. <laughs> Now it's connecting. So this part is supposed to be the part where I'm gonna be adding photos on that on that wall. Unfortunately, my printer is not working. Like, like it's not connecting on my phone, and I'm getting so stressed out because I've tried three phones already, and it's not connecting. I will have to move on on this video so this part is actually one of the I think hardest part of this video because I'm gonna be trying to make a DIY neon light sign so guys if you want to see if it's gonna be successful or not then keep on watching <laughs> of course you will be needing these lights I'm gonna put the link on the description box where you can buy these lights so I put the batteries now for this one and it's like this. I'm not sure if you can see it though. But I got two colors. I got the light pink and the like super neon pink. I wasn't sure if the neon pink would go well in the color of my room. So I got the light pink. Actually, it's not light pink. It's bluish it's, it's like white already things you need would be this lights kind of wire again guys i'm gonna put the description down here i got this in wilcon so yeah this is where you can you know move and twirl them and everything and you need a cutting pliers to cut out this one in case you need to cut it out something that you can use to stick these two a printout or a drawing or whatever of the neon sign that you would want to make. So for me, I wanted to make the God is higher than highs and lows and my printer isn't working so I just drew them. So this is the G. God is big. So I'm going to use this one to shape this wire. Okay? So on the description box for everything that you need to know for this one. So let's get started. I really don't know kung kaya ko to, but let's see. So first, I'm gonna make the G. Basically, I'm just gonna shape the wire. Guys, I'm done making the. Uh, G is higher than highs and lows. So now I'm gonna stick the lights on this one. Guys, I already finished the letter G finally. Hey guys, so sorry, this is the best setup that I could think of. I wasn't really that prepared that it would be this hard to do this. So bear with me, guys. So I'm almost done. I'm ready on the third um, letter or symbol that I'm trying to make now filled with um, mighty bond scars or something I don't know what to call it but so what I do is I put the mighty bond on the string I let it dry a bit then I'm gonna like, stick it there because if it's still too watery, it's not going to stick right away. It's just going to keep on moving and it's just going to mess up your hands or your fingers like what happened to me. So there. Finally done with the sign. It took me quite some time to finish it and look at my fingers. Anyway, let's see how this will look like. Bye. 
there. So here it is guys, I was able to stick it already. Um, it's not that bright because I should have used the bright pink but I wanted to use the light pink. So that is why it's not that um, neonish bright. But it's okay, it's the first time that I did this and I'm still happy with the outcome. Okay, so this is the part where I want to make a box. It's like a box and then you can literally just drop anything there and for me what I want to do is I'm gonna drop all the flight tickets um, train tickets whenever I travel like I want to keep all of them as a remembrance but I don't want them to be just anywhere like nakakalat. so I thought I've thought of making a box so basically this is a frame that I got in SM department store I'm gonna put it here and everything will be on the description box and I'm gonna try to turn this into a um, memory box I'm not sure what to call it but something like that so if you want to see it just keep on watching it is the frame and once you take out the lock there's two things one is a glass and one is like a transparent, I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna take out all of the sample pictures. So I'm gonna put back the glass. I'm gonna lock it. So there, now I have the glass, just the glass. And then what I'm gonna do is, with this plastic thing, I hate it, but I'm going to shock. I don't know how to take it out. What I'm going to try to do here is cover the other end outside the wood so that there's like an area in between the wood and the glass where I can actually like drop stuff or drop, drop anything. What I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to cut a bit on top and that thing I'm going to transfer on the side so that the lower will be sealed and all I need is the top to be open so I can drop stuff inside. I think I need a more functional scissors than this Eiffel Tower scissors. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this one at the back on the wood. Like on the wood. small piece that I cut to fill in this space. So here it is. Now I have a frame memory box. Um, I honestly don't know what to call it yet. Okay, here are some of my tickets that I kept for the past few months that I've been traveling. And I'm just gonna put them in here. So this ticket. Oh, that's it. There. And I have a. Um, I think this is an entrance ticket to somewhere. There. I'm gonna put the big ones first so that hindi matabunan yung maliliit. Some tickets, train tickets. They're they're smaller so. I don't want them to be covered. Oh, so here it is. This is my memory frame or memory box. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. Finally, this is where I'm gonna drop all my tickets and plane tickets, train tickets, and entrances. Everything that I have from my travel from my travels I would put it here so yeah now it's time for this to be put up there and yeah guys so 
the vlog is almost done but I want to try my insects printer once again because I really want to fill up the back of that wall so I'm going to try it one last time okay, so I wasn't that happy with my neon light sign so I used the brighter pink just so I could achieve the look that I want so here it is be a very quick tour on my bedside so let's start first I want to talk about this area um, this is my frame with my photo and my Lomo camera and I have this pineapple um, candle from Vina Guerrero and on this part this is my memory box and I'm gonna share with you or you can make one of this and this is my cactus that's almost dead I'm so sorry and this is my world map and down here I have a Polaroid camera and I have a book that that's 1,000 places to see before you die then I have this candle that was given to me by a friend and this one this basket I just spray paint, painted this one and I have this album and this is another album but there's nothing in it <laughs> and I have my unicorn stuff here here in the middle part is of course my scratch map that has been there for the longest time but now I already changed the fairy lights now it's working and then around it again are my photos whenever I travel I wanted to fill it up but unfortunately my printer doesn't work is not working so I couldn't fill it up and here is the neon light that I is the neon light that I made it is the God is greater than highs and lows. I have this very big light bulb. It's from Ikea, Ikea. And on my bedside, I got this table from Furniture Source or Source Furniture. I'm gonna put the link on the description box. And I have this Young Living diffuser and this cherry blossom thing that Brian gave me. This remote holder, I just spray painted this. This is originally white. I got this from um, Lazada or Shopee. I'm gonna put the link on the description box and in my drawer some personal stuff so this is my jewelry box and this is my engagement ring and I have my thumbs for my tummy and some of my lotions and stuff <laughs> and yeah whatever here I have my spiritual books, I have my Young Living, I have my Bible books that I read every day. I'll show you my, this box. This is where I hide my hide the wires so it won't look so messy. It's so messy. It makes my room look like so malinas, but it's not <laughs> that malinas. For you, this one where I keep my wires on. <laughs> There, so yeah, so I para hindi siya mawala, so it's just there, and that's it, guys. This is the updated bed area of my room, and watch out for this area for my desk area. I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna transform it once again, and also how I organize my stuff. I hope that I inspired you to be more creative and really, you know. Put a touch of your personality in your room or in whatever you have, in whatever you do. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching up until here. I hope you learned something from this video. Also, please do comment in the comment section what other videos you want me to do and how I can improve this kind of video and yeah. That's basically it. Thank you so much again for watching. I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye!